Hey guys, how's it going? Um, okay, so uh, today I wanted to make a drum video about playing a shuffle groove. So um, this is not necessarily a lesson um, because this is something I'm still kind of working on and discovering. Uh, so just take this as my experience and just kind of like a video diary really. Uh, so why I wanted to do this because um, I guess to show where I've kind of gotten on my own and what process I've followed and yeah I thought it would be interested interesting to maybe uh, uh, talk about it and show kind of what I've been doing with regards to that. Uh, a, a shuffle pattern is based on triplets so triple 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 and essentially what we want to do is we want to get rid of the um, the middle note, the P. So what we have is triple let 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 triple let. So I think it's important to to um, really understand how the stick works in our hands. So um, and by that I mean how the stick reacts uh, when we throw it down and what happens when the stick comes back and what our fingers need to do in order to uh, get the most out of that motion. So in other words, dealing effectively uh, with rebound so that the stick works for us or the sticks work for us. Okay. But I think it's important to understand what a full stroke is, which is essentially this when the stick comes back all the way to us, uh, com comes back to us just from the bounce, the rebound. Then we have also a downstroke, which is uh, essentially the same, but catching the stick down. So a downstroke would be like this. Uh, and then we have a tap stroke, which is once we've kind of, um, in a way, after a, a, a downstroke, after catching the stick down here, what we could do is just tap the stick onto the surface. And the other thing would be, uh, and the, the, the last stroke is an upstroke, whereby we raise our wrist in order to get that stroke from, uh, from a small distance. Okay? So a lot, and I think the wrist is a big part of, of, of uh, playing drums, you know? Like, it needs to be nice and loose in order to um, uh, kind of kind of like break the seal almost of our wrists, which mm, what's helped me was to actually play on the ride a jazz kind of ride pattern, which is this I'm going to play. So in playing that, um, I started realizing, in a way, the role that my fingers have. I mean, more consciously, you know, uh, when playing grooves. So what I'm what I'm doing there, and this is again my experience uh, in kind of uh, teaching myself or or having developed it over time. Um, so all I'm doing is in a kind of French grip ish. Um, type position with my thumb up, I'm throwing the stick down onto the right, and then I'm using my fingers um, to, to play those, those, those two notes. So, so, so after that, when I've played um, that last note what I'm doing is I'm actually lifting my uh, arm my, my hand but I'm doing it through like from the wrist so again that's where this this wrist um, 
th that's where the risk becomes really important because it helps us with that kind of flowy, wavy type motion. So again, check it out. So by lifting the arm, what we're doing is we're creating uh, a way for the stick to come back down. So we're kind of giving it momentum again. So. I've been playing it slightly faster and what that's done is it's helped me develop certain muscles with time. So um, because I've learned to use the rebound of the stick in that particular application. So. So that's kind of uh, where I started uh, thinking, okay, well, um, that's, that's great. I can possibly use that in my shuffle. So, um, so I've started using my fingers and now I'm still exploring this, um, but I just wanted to kind of mention it that uh, as I tried to do a shuffle, I, I started noticing that m my, my whole arm started moving in a particular way. My wrist has started to kind of rotate a little bit. And I'm, again, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, but as, as to how to best use it, I've gotten to the point where I'm kind of starting to play um, Rosanna by Toto, where uh, Jeff Porcaro plays a sweet, 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 sweet shuffle groove, which I'm going to try to play for you now and just again like kind of clinically speaking uh, have a look at my at, at how my arm is moving I guess um, and it I'm, I'm, I'm always telling students about um, uh, about flow and about being aware of the different joints in your body and, and how and how your your muscles move so and again this is a work in progress, but can I have a look at where I've gotten to? I guess I'm I'm not sure really how to how to um uh, how to frame it otherwise. But anyway, here we go. So it's not quite perfect. I'm still kind of jerky sometimes because I just. So the thing is. Um, when we're playing that, that, that pattern, what we're doing is, uh, at least on that shuffle, uh, we're playing a 16th note right after the, the, the first note of the triplet. And we're c continuously adding uh, notes in between with the left hand. So, uh, and then we're adding a backbeat. Once we establish a pattern with our upper body, what we do with our lower body, uh, i.e. with our legs, uh, with our um, right foot in this case, the bass drum, uh, becomes a bit easier because we don't have to think about what's going on up here so much. Um, so the, the other groove on the chorus of, the, um, uh, of, of that song 
it kind of started coming naturally because I was just kind of feeling the notes more than anything. Um, so here we go. Sounds a bit like this. perfect uh, but I'm working on it and uh, yeah I don't know that's kind of it really mm, so I hope you've enjoyed this and um, yeah have a have a have a good one